so the reason why it was delayed for so long, it was actually delayed for a really long time because they could they were trying to get custom packaging. It didn't happen. And so now we've got just a generic cardboard box for it. And I think that because that was the popular request. People were saying, please just fucking ship it without the custom packaging. I don't really care to wait for another few months for a, nice, a nicer box. And so they're doing it with this, just this box. So let's see. See, so it's about as generic as it gets. So this is, looks like how it would show up straight off the factory floor. Because when I have received prototypes shipped out from Type Mac and I was shipped pretty much just like that. Cardboard box with this foam and then with this kind of yellow tape over it. Time to sharpen the knife. Maybe, maybe I should. I mean, I was actually just trying to be careful though. I was so slow because I was trying not to, I was afraid that I would cut something else. That'd be nice. Okay. Should have been the no box. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so you can see, be very careful when you're unboxing, when you're taking your thing. Okay, look at this. This is some scary shit. So, you can see that there's no tape on this side. So if I had just fucking just taken it off, then it would have just, yeah. So you do get some tape on the shorter sides, but not on the long sides. So definitely watch out when you're taking yours out. Because yeah, look at this. Chairhorn, how's it going? As long as it isn't damaged, is all that matters. And Brian said, just build a plateless Tina C. The flex is pretty ridiculous. What PCBN switches did you use? Man in time, is this number one? So this PolyZoo, unfortunately, this is not the PolyBoard. The PolyBoard will be after this. But this is the number one, yes. Okay, so yeah, you have to be very careful again. Like, you can just fucking just lift this thing open. So, this is the keycap number one. A joint event or a collaboration between, well, maybe not collaboration. It's a board designed by Ride on the Bay. Uh, at first, it was just a small run, but this one is basically kind of round two. It's a new round completely. And this was distributed by Type Machina, which is a joint effort between Originative and a WASD keyboard, so WASD. Uh, some of you sociopaths might call it. And so, this was actually shipped out with Type Machina on the address instead of Originative, even though we all know when you deal with them, it's pretty much Sheraton Originative. And so, yeah, so these ship out from Waz Keyboard's facility, as far as I know. So, in case you're wondering why there were delays and stuff, it's a joint effort when it's not one person doing it, when it's not a small, you know, when it's not central and, and localized to one spot, it gets kind of, you know, how things work. Okay, so wow! All right, so everybody, take a good look at the key cult. That's gonna be the end of the stream. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody. Okay, so we've got that. We've got PCB. Okay, so PCB, this is the Liku TKL PCB that I'm sure a lot of you have seen before. Nothing, nothing incredible, nothing special. Okay, and so we are gonna test it out real quick. And I believe I might have to. Oh, does it actually fit without, hold on. But, okay. So as you can see, the PCB is made out of FA4 material, not acrylic. So it is it is a little more flexible, right? You can kind of, you can kind of 
flex it a bit. Oh shit! Uh. Only slightly more flexible than duck diffusers. Okay. So. So we can test it out. Okay. And so, real quick, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna pull up switch header. And tweezers. Dr. W40, how's it going? Good to see you here. And Joke is here too. Hello, hello. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, real quick, definitely check out if you. Oh no, my keyboard's not plugged in. Someone put in the. Never mind, hold on, I'll do it later. But definitely check out Dr. WD40's Twitch channel. He does mainly biology, microbiology to be specific, and lots of other fun stuff. Hold on. There we go, thanks to our only moderator. Oh, well, I guess one of the three moderators here, but. Thanks. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, so I have one keyboard here, but it's not plugged in because I have this thing plugged in. So I can't do any of the commands. But definitely check out his Twitch channel. I lurk there quite often, uh, but I, I don't show up in chat too much. And I believe he's been trying to stream off of his laptop somewhere else. Yeah, so sometimes he plays video games as well. Definitely try to catch that. I used to play a lot of GeoGuessr. But recently he's been going on with his lecture series. Which is pretty cool. Uh, surprisingly... The WD-40 doesn't refer to the spray or the lubricant. I uh, It took me a bit too long to, to find out about that. Okay, so, so far so good. You can see the RGB LEDs are also working. Uh, test the, the ISO enter. Okay, that works. Okay, so far so good. WD40 says, I was doing a stream on campus doing a lab experiment, so I need to make a mobile stream unit. So did you ever figure it out? You were trying to stream off of, was it Dropbox? I know you were trying to, I think you were trying to run the bot off of Dropbox, right? You said, and then the bot wouldn't work. I was in, I was actually on campus when I was watching that stream, so I left before you figured it out. Okay, so pretty good so far. Everything seems to register something. Okay, so PCV works great. Thank you all for tuning in today. I will see you. Uh, okay, so now to move on to the actual board. Okay, PCB, set it aside. And Dr. W40 says, I couldn't run the bot via Dropbox, unfortunately, not sure why. So, what are you going to do about the mobile stream setup then? Working PC out of box. <laughs> Already the best group buy run this year. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of group buys have not turned out too well. A lot of uh, big name ones. Okay, so, 
Key cult number one. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I didn't check whether the RGBs all light up. Doesn't matter though, right, for this board. Okay, so. Very gently. Very gently. Oh, I should probably get a dash mat for this, shouldn't I? It's too dark. Yeah, it's too dark, right? Okay. So this is the gray with purple. <laughs> it's Liku RGB will be broken shortly anyways. Yeah. So if you're going to use a Liku PCB, just don't even design your board of RGB. Dr. W40 says, it's just one stream a week. I can have my essential commands on Nightbot. People just can't earn ATP. Well, then I'm not going to tune in anymore. Okay. Let's see. Apparently someone linked my keycard number one article in Korea today. Nice. Did you get a lot of ad revenue? Looks really army green on the camera. Okay, hold on. Looks like it's green. So... If you think that it looks a little green, I will come right out and tell you. It actually does look a little green to me in person. So it looks a lot like the Luna Gray that you see on the mirror, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Yeah, so the gray... Definitely is a bit on the greenish side. And you have to understand that I have very cool lighting here. No, actually, it's pretty cool. You know, I spent a lot of time working on uh, Mine is daylight uh, temperature. So I think 5.5K to 6K. But it still should not look... Well, I guess it depends on what you want out of a gray, but it definitely has a greenish hue to it. In, it's not just my camera and the lighting. It actually does look like this to me in person, which I guess as a color on its own, is not so bad. The purple though, I will say, I don't really like this purple very much. I don't know about you guys. The Racker, welcome to the stream. Okay, so who else is here that I missed? I hope I didn't miss anyone else. I see him logo peeking out under the escape. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so... The bottom camera is not as accurate. The main one will give you a more accurate... It, yeah, if you get this in person, you will see, yes, it does have... 
It, it does look a lot like the... Let me let me grab the mirror, actually. I have it over here. Hell, actually, the <laughs> the Kikalt gray looks even greener than the Luna gray on the mirror. So this is the mirror. You can see it does have kind of a, a little bit of greenish hue to it. Just a tiny little bit on the mirror. But this one, yes, it is more obvious. Now, if it's a color on its own, I actually do like this shade of gray. It's better than the usual uh, titanium gray that you see. But if you were not expecting this, then ye or if you don't like this shade, then yes, that sucks. And I don't think it goes too well with this purple. And the reason is... The purple is not vibrant at all. So what would you call this color? Eggplant, yeah, I was thinking eggplant, but eggplants are more purple than this, so... Mm. Old, cooked eggplant, there we go. Cooked eggplant, stir-fried eggplant, would look like this. So if it's fresh and raw, it's very purple. If you stir-fried it with some shrimp paste or something, this is kind of the color that you will get. Yes, very desaturated, very metallic, dark purple, super ripe eggplant. See, thank you, Dr. W40. Yeah, so either old eggplant or cooked eggplant, like fucking stir fried and shit. The Arctic Fox says, I really hope this is not the gray that I'll be getting. LOL. Why, why, why are you worried, man? Wouldn't it just look like normal gray? To you? Just kidding. <laughs> Iridia says I feel like Anthony's fucking with us right now That's black No I don't know why you would think it looks like black It really does not look like black to me Even on my screen over here It doesn't look black Can someone find a picture of the insides of an eggplant? Like the, the, the flesh of an eggplant? And does anyone have, so my keyboard, okay, I really have to plug the keyboard back in. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna try to find the product page. Can someone link to the product page? Of, is this still a command here actually? Let me try. Okay. Damn, bro. What? God damn it. Okay, does anyone have the archived page for it, maybe? Texas Breakfast? Hey, welcome to the stream. Dick Vein Purple. Very accurate, actually. So if you're into Dick Veins, this is the perfect board for you. Wait. I don't know that Ride on the Bay is based in Raleigh, North Carolina. What? God, did you know this? Okay, so this is the product page, but do you have the sale page? Okay, maybe I click shop. No, 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 no. Nope, it doesn't show the options for it. What? Store page taken down? Yeah. Really close. To, yeah, so sort of like JMK Tower. Yeah, it's even darker in person. It's like Taro Oreo Taro 
milkshake uh, if you, that you get from the boba shop. Faza, welcome to the stream. Who else am I missing? Hopefully I didn't miss anyone else. I'll tell you what's the wooden case. So Athleo, this one you can get from Mass Drop. The new versions don't have the stupid logo over here, so it's way better. But yeah, version one had this, even though we all asked them to remove this, they refused to. And then the second round came out without the logo, and it's a, it's a big, it was a big fuck you to the round one buyers. Because if you want one of the logo, then you have to buy the second one as well. But anyway, yeah, so... The purple. Uh, I really hope that people who did buy it in all purple will not be too disappointed. Because, yeah, this is a very dark grayish purple. Look at that. And if you think that's bad, so okay, I understand that this was a project between Was Keyboards and Originative. I did not know that the Van Keyboards was involved in this process as well. Maybe that's why it took so long for them to arrive. Look at that. Do you see that? Look look at look at the front. See all this? The side as well, look at that. See all those spots? Those Leopard print you got going. See the back too over here. See that? You just got just light patches everywhere. Now you might think, oh no, that's a manufacturing problem. It's actually kind of like birthmarks. No two key card number ones are the same. And so, it's not just the anodizing, or I guess not just the, the, the cloudy patches and spots everywhere. Look, look at that. You see those specks? These are not just specks on the surface. They are actually pits, kind of like blackheads. Right, so you've got blackheads and come on the face. I don't know that the number one was an 18 year old at prom night. one was hand finished okay let's see pan of water hey how's it going and iridius just kind of expect that with a kbd fans board not with a 500 dollars board uh i would say the exact opposite kbd fans new stuff have all been fucking amazing with the anodizing Honestly, I expect the opposite now. If it's an expensive board, group by board, I expect the anodizing to be just fucking trash. But if it's from someone at KBD fans, look at this. 
That's fucking amazing. Look at the brown anodizing. No blemishes. Look at that shit. It's crazy. Okay. And so now we have the key card that I built from a while back. Not shipped it back yet because I haven't heard back about what to do with it. But so we've got the green key count and the greener key count over here. So you can see on this one, you also see, like I think, I'm pretty sure I showed it on stream, but it wasn't as obvious as on the gray, but you can see just the streaking and the light patches in there. But this one is really obvious though. Hopefully you can, you guys can see that on camera. Okay, just see the two, see how they compare. Look at that. So here, yeah, you can see the faint line streaking. That's kind of, uh, that's most anodizing. I still will call boards out for stuff like that, but you know, it's on most boards. But this is not on most boards though. This, this white stuff everywhere. ADXLK, how's it going? And Mr. Keith says, check the plates. Yes, I will. I'm about to do that, actually. So we're just going over the anodizing. And of course, I don't know whether this affects all the boards, I, I would suspect so, whether it, it's all to this degree, but this one, I will honestly say not acceptable. This one that was shipped to me. This is God's key card number one. So it's not just the colors, the unacceptable part is the pitting, the amount of pitting that you see. So still nowhere near as bad as the TGR 910 that was shipped from Yutsu as a replacement. That one still holds the number one spot, get it, number one, uh, for terrible anodizing. Again, the TGR purple top, that was still absolute fucking garbage. But this one, yeah, I, this is, this is not. So, okay, yeah, so this would be an accurate depiction of the purple that you can expect. So, I think that this color would work nice with silver, it would be okay, with black as well, but I, 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 I don't know, I'm not feeling this greenish-gray with the purple combo. It's like, it's like if someone dug up Barney's carcass after 400 years. And actually, if this were the main color, and it were a silver plate as well, that would uh, that would be nice too. If this were a main color, that'd be okay. But as an accent color, with the gray, it with this kind of gray. But okay, see more pitting over here. See, so not just on the front side, so the bottom piece. Look, look at this. Look at that. Many, many holes. A holy board, wordy. Of God. And yeah, the back so it looks like it has ad adhesive marks or something. All right. The darker patches kind of reminds me of the taped up nine ten C uh, RE. Okay, see, look at that. Look, look at that. That just, that ain't right, man. And then the 
top, of course, you will see the Type Machina logo somewhere here. Kind of cool detail, although it doesn't actually, uh, it's kind of weird where they put it, right? You, you see just one side of the M. But you will see just on the top, you will see again, just cloudiness. So when I left just now, I left the room just now to get some Clorox wipes. So we will make sure that. Now I'm pretty sure this won't do anything, but it's just to show everyone that we're actually trying to clean it up. See, so on this desk, the surface actually gets clean. So you can confirm that the Clark's wipe actually works, but still there. Irremovable cum stains. Is there any greater nightmare in life? Texas Breakfast says, can you open it? Yeah, yeah, we are going to open it. Dr. W4 says, this is how science works. He used a positive control. Yeah, see? I learned something. I learned a thing or two from, from Dr. W4's Twitch streams, which you all should check out. Okay, so... Let's unscrew everything. Sadly, unscrew means to remove the screws in this context and not unscrew up this thing so it's gonna remove so the rubber feet are already installed that's a plus in the face of many minuses okay so who is saying that it still looks black yes so it does it 100 percent does not look black I have this monitor here actually calibrated and it does not look black at all on this screen. So if so just like Texas Breakfast says if it looks black to you on your display I'm afraid your display's colors might be even less accurate than the key call number one illustrations. The spot on your desk pad left of this thing.
So are these the gaskets? The fuck? So this is the main selling point of the <laughs> Dr. W40. Thought Slave 01 was an actual viewer. Yes, yes, that is. That is the supposed to be the Django Fats and Boba Fats ship. Slave one. Mine came first, so it's a zero zero one. You know how decimals work. Okay, but anyway, this is the main selling point of the key count. These gaskets, as you, they would call it. And you can see it is... So, in the original version, it's supposed to just be on the bottom side, I think. This one, I'm a little confused. Is this supposed to be the gasket? Can someone try to look up pictures of the original key count number one? So maybe these are the gaskets. Do you not see the... But I remember being pieces of rubber, so I am a little bit confused. But maybe it's just colored really well. I don't know. But I remember them being a bit thicker. But I, I might, you know, it's been a while. Can someone sh give me pictures? Ren's Pwns, hey, how's it going? My, my man, Martin, as well. What colors are the case plates? So these are supposed to be gray and purple. And if you think, whoa, I need to get my eyes checked. Yes. No, actually, no, you don't. Because it's just the colors that are fucked up. Oh, but. Okay, so I'm trying to find pictures of the gaskets. Okay, so I found a build log of it. can check out and we'll take a look at it together together so black and pink magenta where are the okay, so those are the gaskets okay hold on okay see so they're pretty thick in here they did not look thick to you look kind of Yeah, so they definitely look thick to me. Look at that. So I guess we will actually have to unscrew the other key cult okay but you'll see this is the okay hold on. a better view of the purple with the type machina engraving over here key cult logo over here so if you want to find out more about this board, you can check out the build log or the build VOD on my YouTube channel where we actually take the whole thing apart. Check it out. Okay, so let's take this one apart just to compare. Tulu, welcome to the stream. Wobbert as well is over here. Okay. 
Plus 63 people on a Monday? Damn. What, what? Oh, and thank you for the follows. Uh, all the people who just followed. I, I've been a bit too focused on getting to the bottom of this. Let's see. So who has followed? Talisman Solutions. Thank you. Fish in a spacesuit. That's a cool name. I like it. Thank you for the follow. Old Goat has followed. And this... Are you here to find out if the key card number one is the new goat? We don't know. And thank you, NGB, for tuning in. Have a good night. Ooh, that brings us to 995 followers, I think. Maybe. Oh, 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 okay, so I think that's just tape. Okay, see, so you still have the gaskets over here, and they're actually pre-installed. On the top, lol. Okay, so, the here, and then, so remember the tape, okay, so remember when the previous one, when we unboxed, we had to, well, we built, we had to put this tape on the plate. Otherwise, it would rattle because it's not thick enough to fill up the space see so on that one that we built there was tape and so this is actually a pre-applied tape i guess on all the edges of the plate so it is fixed so it actually is improved from the the prototype or whatever that, that we built uh, on stream Well, I th the thing is, this threw me off though. When I saw this, because this was not on the previous board. All this. So I thought, well, what the fuck? And it really threw me off. Look at that. So yeah, so it has this, it, the, what looks like tape to me. It just looks like tape and it's the same shade of color. Maybe it's not tape, but it looks like it. It's probably something else. I don't know. Looks and feels like tape. But yeah, so you can see it's got this all over. This is so that you don't need to tape it up yourself. And this kind of, this kind of looks kind of ugly, but... So the ones that are shipping should look like this and will fix... And should fix that problem that we had with the, the previous build. Yeah, so the gaskets are here. They are in the top pre-installed already. As you can see. So these dampening pads should help hold the plate more tightly against the, the top. <laughs> Should I either troubleshoot? Yes, I fixed it. I fixed everything. But yeah, so with the previous one, so yeah, you can see it adds some thickness to it with that, that tape thing that they did. And I'm assuming it adds just enough to, to fix the issue. Don't know how obvious it is on camera, but you can definitely feel it. It's definitely there. Yeah, so again, gaskets over here. So this is what sells the board. Crisis averted over here, and they actually improved on it. They kind of fixed the problem. I thought they, at first when they talked about this, they made it sound like they would fix it in the next round, but. 
They fixed it for this round, actually. So the ones that are shipping out, that plate problem got fixed. And we will put it back in the, the case to figure that out. Hold on. But this, let me just set this aside. Yes, Mr. Keep. So yeah, so let's do that right after this. After E sixty two. Oh, you want to? Okay, you, you're talking about switch cutouts. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you just meant this issue that I'm talking about with the the plate with the gaskets. Okay, okay. Magnus Cap says the KCD number one plate is thicker by 0.03. Should not have these issues. Nice. Well, I'm glad that one got figured out. This stream is actually going to end up being longer than I thought because I still have another box on uh, to open up. The construction for the key count definitely is pretty cool. It's not your regular top mount. So it is a sandwich mount as you can see. And not just a sandwich mount, the, the case, the top part actually has these cuts to help hold everything in place. So what we're going to find out right now is we're going to try to screw everything back in and then we'll see if the plate moves at all and then we'll test these switch cutouts. How's that sound? You know what, with how the analyzing has turned out, maybe you're better off trying to get the brass combo. Because then at least one section would not have anodizing problems. Or so we think. And then just get a, a FR4 plate from Bad News Caps, right? Okay, see you, Dewing Dick. I'm sorry I missed it. I'm sure you're gone by now, but have a good night. Fun Sployer, how's it going? Jetstream, yes. The answer, simple answer, yes. Yes, not even sort of. Answer, yes. Unacceptable to me. Brian, was this your first playlist build? Because it doesn't matter what material plate you're using, almost nothing will come close to playlist, at least not right now. And playlist, yes, it does feel weird, but once you use it a lot, you go back to your regular plate, you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, so it's something that you just, it's an acquired taste. Okay, so back to this. So we screwed everything in. Just as much as anodizing has screwed this up. Okay, so what we want to try first is see if they fix the plate problem and then we'll see the switch cutouts. So I am shoving this with all my might. 
the plate does not move. So on the one that we had to build on stream, you can see we had to put tape to help tighten everything. But on this one, they fixed the problem, which is good to see. So you will see nothing. Okay. And then we wanted to try the switch cutouts for the plate, which I, I really hope that you guys will remind me to do every time we do an unboxing. It is a very important issue. And unfortunately though, not all plates in a run will end up being cut the same way. So for example, E6 V2, the one that I unboxed, the one that Red Hawk had was fucking garbage. But some people didn't have the same problem. So yeah, so even if I do test the plate cutouts, the switch cutouts, I hope you all understand that it still might not apply to all the boards in that run or in that batch. Or maybe there were separate batches, but the group by runner just didn't mention it. Okay, so let's test this out and then we'll test it in five spots. So it's one on a scale of yes to no. How well does it fit? Great, this actually fits very nicely. Super nice as well, look at this. No movement. So this is actually one of the best plates I've seen so far, so far uh, from a group buy. This is has this is pretty good so far. All right, look at that. Doesn't really move anywhere. You get that satisfying Not click, but you feel it being hugged by the plate. Yeah, see? So, and this is with a cherry switch, which is the standard. Uh, unfortunately, if it fits cherry nicely, that might mean that a lot of mod switches might not fit too nicely. Let's try a box switch. Brian says, I'm getting used to how bouncy Platelist is. That's the best part. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Box switch fits. The plate does not fit keycaps though. Oh God. Okay, maybe it fits the same way that it fits keycaps. Holy shit. Wowzers. Verdict is the same. Don't use box switches unless you are absolutely forced to because they are still damaging keycaps. And maybe they're gonna damage plates too. Okay, so switch cutouts have been tested. They were great. Hey, how's it going? Nebulon says, so did he say when the original order ones from September should be shipping? So they're in the process of shipping. This was one of the first ordered. That's why, and it was, you know, an order from North America. So this was not, I did not place this order. It was shipped to me from God and God was one of the first ones to place the order. And so, you know, North American order, one of the first orders made. So that's why it shipped out early, I'm assuming. But yeah, people's boards are being shipped out. So maybe they'll get to you. I don't know the system that they're going with, but I do know that God places orders super early. And he's in North America. So sorry, Arctic Fox. 
you know, the wrong part of America, the, the continent. Okay. So, conclusion. I think that we pretty much looked at everything already. I don't know if we're going to build this thing on stream, though, because I don't know if God will even keep this. Will I return it? If I were the buyer, I bought this, would I return it? The answer is yes. Should you return it, though? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty picky. Should you return it? So here's how it is. If you are okay with TGR boards and Anoxary boards, you should be perfectly fine with this. This is about par for the course, right? Standard anodized. If you have not been buying KBD fan stuff, or if you have just been buying, you know, if you've just been buying TGR, like I said, TGR, Anoxary, uh, all the other high end custom boards, then this will look just like standard anodizing to you, and you should be perfectly happy. If, however, you have been able to compare with some of the cheaper products that we've been seeing, you might be very disappointed that something so expensive would not have quality control as good as the cheap stuff. So that's pretty much it. And this is also why I try my best to remind people not to just brush off cheap stuff because it keeps you grounded it lets you it remind it, it keeps you updated on how you know editing should be and how quality control should be and if things that are under a hundred dollars can reliably and consistently uh, have better finish than something that's five hundred dollars then something is something is wrong Wait, Alex, so where is that from? What are we talking about? Is that from Mass Drop? Oh, oh, that's from Mass Drop. Oh, yes. Oh, that was so fucking stupid. Yes. 100% oh. the dumbest thing I've ever heard Yanbo from Mass Drop say. Then again, I've not heard a lot of things he said, so it's not a, not a great reward. Master Wood Caves are never anno issues. How's it going, Midori? Yeah, so. I am disappointed to say the least of this. Again, like I said, Tofu, KU75 V2. Way, way, way better anodizing and quality control. At least when we're talking about just the anodizing and the finish. Way better. So. So maybe it's about time the shitlords on. On Elitis. Guys on. Subreddits like custom keyboards. I hope they will actually go out and buy some cheap stuff because maybe it'll remind them that they should not accept stuff like that. But yeah, they fixed the plate problem, which is nice to see. Plate fits switches very well. And of course the gaskets work, so that's good. Plate is very tight. But yeah, the anodizing, the finish. Nope, 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 nope. Let me get tape, I'll tape this up.
Okay, so next up we will unbox the polycarbonate singer. Uh, I hope. I don't know if the owner is, has been here, but I hope he didn't have to wait too long. I hope he wasn't here since the start. Because yeah, we're saving his for the last, and hopefully we will not be disappointed. Hopefully. We don't have to worry about analyzing problems though, because it's polycarbonate. We do have to worry about flexing and bending and stuff like that though, so we'll have to be careful. M. Fisher, how's it going? So disappointment, disappointment is with the finish. The anodizing is not good at all. The fit is not bad. The fit is actually pretty good, but yeah, the finish. So fit and finish, right? Fit is better than what we saw previously, but finish, not great. Oh damn it, I didn't put the PCB in there. Fuck me. Hey, Poner is here. How's it going? Okay, so... Set this aside. 